think we should start the video with maybe your shoes being on so you can be more comfy and not put your shoes on the back. So why shoes? No, they're not. They're dirty shoes. Ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Hey guys, so we just wanted to make a YouTube video to kind of talk to you guys about where our heads were at going into The Amazing Race. Uh, it was a really fast transition, especially for this one. And also what we packed in our backpack because we've seen a lot of past uh, TAR contestants do these videos and I think our backpack was kind of interesting. Yeah, we only had one. Yeah, which is a really, I thought it was pretty cool of us. And then uh, I actually only had my big brother clothes. Oh yeah, that's yeah, right. I, I, forgot about I didn't that. go home to Dallas beforehand, so yeah, I ended up just packing whatever was in my big brother stuff. It was which literally wasn't much. everything. Yeah, you everything. guys know I wardrobe <laughs> inside and out. Doesn't consist of much. <laughs> I haven't eaten yet, so I'll probably eat this whole thing. I haven't eaten yet either. Now that I think about it. Ah, uh, I meant to do that before we did this. But yeah, I had five days before I had to go on uh, the Amazing Race. So what'd we do? It's just a healthy stuff. No, it's not. It's just I didn't butter it. I'm in a current weight loss phase right now. Uh, he or eats fat, hot fat loss. Fat loss. That has zero seasoning on it. It's really gross. It's got full. It's like cardboard. Anyway. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I can actually show him what I packed. I got well, the stuff at the side there. Let's start with going into the race before we get to the backpack stuff. Because I don't know about you, but going into the race, I was very, probably a little guarded, a little as an understatement, because I didn't know if we were gonna walk into another really volatile cast. So I was really like nervous and putting up like a real tough girl front kind of a deal. I mean, I wasn't nervous, but I didn't want to film anymore. I was yeah. done with TV. Yeah. I didn't want to do any more TV, but at the same time, I know we had talked about wanting to do this together, so yeah, I agree. It's not, I mean, it wasn't, I knew we were going to get like locked in somewhere, you know what I mean? So no matter what, like we were going to get locked in a house somewhere, so it, it made it better for me. We went from two completely different extremes. We went from being locked in a house with a bunch of people to traveling the world with a bu bunch of people. It was it was very polar opposite, yeah. which was nice because the last thing we wanted to do was be locked in a house with a bunch of strangers all over again. Yeah. But going into it, no one knew who we were. No one knew anybody actually. That is the funny part. Is I don't think any of the other contestants watch Big Brother, <laughs> <laughs> which was kind of bizarre because. In the first episode, you see that we start off in New York at what, where, what was it called? Washington Square Park. Washington Square Park. And we had the most rock star entrance that I've ever seen in my life. And it was probably one of the coolest moments of my entire life. Well, CBS released to uh, everyone, I'm not sure where they put it on, but whatever websites, that the Amazing Race premiere would be at Washington Square Park. So all these fans came to Washington Square Park. and I. I for some An reason, insane amount of fans. I, I, I don't understand why, but uh, <laughs> if you look at like our, our social media demographics, the majority of our fans are from New York City. I yeah. Can't, I can't explain it, but they are. And that's where we started at. So there was literally thousands of people like screaming. A our great names. turnout. Like three to four thousand people showed It'll up never happen again for us. <laughs> never. Ever. I, I even said that to him in that moment. I was like, this is our peak. Right now, this is the coolest that we're ever going to be. Because there are signs, especially signs for Cody. Like, there were so many Cody signs and people just screaming our names and screaming Jody. And none of the contestants knew who we were. And we were competing against NBA basketball players who you would think are quite recognizable. Um, and a lot of people that have just competed in a very public kind of platform so for them to, to see all of these people screaming our names was I would love to hear their take on that moment because it was very very funny well they were basically like who the, who the hell are these people you we know had I mean? a couple of them immediately turn to us and say so who are you <laughs> and then we told them and then they didn't care <laughs> they really did it again because they were a big brother fan so 
But it was funny. Washington Square Park was amazing. Yeah, it was cool. It was really cool. So, <laughs> yeah, one of the unique things we did, as opposed to other teams, is we only brought one pack. Uh, Which was my suggestion. It was. It was my suggestion to bring one backpack. And also, before we get into the backpack thing, I want to talk about the homework and lack thereof homework. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this was kind of a big deal. So while... I popcorn in my teeth right now. Get it out. You have a lot in your teeth. Do you want to go brush them? You good? Yeah. <clears throat> so when we found out about The Amazing Race, Cody was still in jury. I don't know if people really realize that, but like he was, you were asked to be on the Amazing Race while still in sequester. I they, don't know if that's ever happened before. No, they had to. Uh, but yeah, so so we only had five days. Got out. Um, Jessica while wanted he, me to watch. <laughs> while he was in the jury house, I watched three seasons of the Amazing Race because, to be quite honest, I had never seen a single episode. So I watched. I had. I hadn't seen any, not anything. So I watched the two All Star seasons and I watched season twenty nine. And I feel like that was a good amount of homework. That was like over thirty episodes. It's like thirty six episodes or something like that of background on the show. And I felt pretty comfortable. Like I understood everything that was going on and the U turns and the double U turns and detours and route infos and all of that information. Cody. On the other hand, I hadn't seen Amazing Race for quite some time. I, like, I, I used to watch all the, I used to watch all the reality shows like back when they first started. So Survivor, Big Brother, Amazing Race. It just our family just always watched them. That's how we became fans of these shows. And the Amazing Race was one of those where I started watching the beginning of seasons and then it just cut off. Beginning season. So keep in mind yeah, we are now on changed. season thirty of the show and Cody has started watching them during seasons like one, two, and three. So he didn't have a lot of background on the show and unfortunately I think the only time that we really tried watching the episodes while you were outside of the house was we were making dinner in the kitchen and we had one of the episodes like in the background as background noise yeah. and we didn't really pay attention to it. And I didn't really notice that that was a problem until we started the race because there were some things that you'll he figure. just you'll see you'll see on the show um there's just there was a learning curve there like do your homework if you plan on going on the amazing race or any tv show doing your homework and being familiar with the show is in your best interest yeah but <laughs> but what he, we he learns quick i'll well, give him that what i did know that we wanted to do, and Jessica suggested the same thing, which oh, I couldn't believe uh, because I wasn't sure how high maintenance she wanted to be <laughs> on the Amazing Race. Right, it's true. So uh, we were trying to figure out what to pack, and I was like, oh, "Wow, she yeah, she was cool with it too." I was like, "Let's do one pack," because Jessica's not a runner. No, uh, not in any way, shape, or form. And I can run mm -hmm. with any amount of weight on my back. It's just a skill set I gained since being. Uh, so, yeah, we decided to go with one pack, and, uh, I mean, what we packed to, I, can, can I just show now? Yeah, bring it out. Right. So, Cody has a bunch of his stuff that he, so Cody has a bunch of his stuff that he packed for the Amazing Race, but I decided to throw a lot of stuff out. <laughs> He's so confused right now. Aww. Yeah, Jessica tossed everything. Oh, yeah. I have nothing left from the show. Like, absolutely nothing. Well, to tell you the truth, these aren't the socks that I use. This is just a, a display format because here's the deal with the socks and the underwear. This this is where it gets interesting. Cody's packing technique and what he packed is actually kind of funny. So, I only packed three shirts. And these are... Oh, no. Well, okay. I packed... Three t-shirts and then one little hoodie shirt, which is, I mean, that was like my cold shirt yeah. or whatever. I mean, for 30 days, it was just these uh, four shirts or whatever. Uh, Jessica, I mean, she only, you only packed like four shirts too, right? I probably, I think I packed like five or six outfits total. 
to start with. Uh, and then I just packed a couple uh, pairs of shorts. He I was alternated wearing... between those and your marine pants. No, 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 I had the champion pants. So it was basically these champion oh, shorts, yeah. I but they the were marine pants, pants uh, versions. And then, I kid you not, the rest of my wardrobe was just silkies, Marine Corps silkies. When he says he packed silkies, he packed this many silkies. And like, then, And then socks, we actually packed 60 pairs of socks. So that way each of us could wear a pair of socks and then just throw them away. And it was a cheap white socks, you know the one that you buy like a, a 20 pack for uh, you know a few bucks. You should grab one of the Ziploc bags out of the kitchen and show them like how we packed it. So when we packed Cody's stuff, we folded them just like this. And then he had the idea to pack everything in our backpack in Ziploc bags. And I'll tell you- Waterproofing stuff. Yes, so it was everything that we owned was in a Ziploc bag. So nothing ever had any kind of water damage. We always had like completely dry clothing. Yeah, you just. I mean, you can air seal it with these Ziploc bags and then shove them in the bag. They condense pretty small. So anyways, the actual bag itself, here's the cool <laughs> thing about it. All right. He so loves I bought, this backpack. I bought this bag just because it fits good okay, on my arm. Just putting the backpack right in front of my face. There you go. Okay. So anyways, the backpack itself, it just sits up uh, really nice and high on the back. Uh, it has a few pouches here, like in the front, like the hip pouches. Um, so what's cool about this one and what was really useful during the race is for kind of our extra stuff. And we didn't realize this until yeah. like what after, I don't know. after some time. So Osprey makes this top pouch a little extra backpack. Oh, you know when we realized it was sequester in New York. So we had a few days of sequester before we started the race and that's when we realized it. Anyways, yeah. So this little guy turns into a whole other backpack. Converts into a backpack. And so, yeah, there'd be times where Jessica would be able to take this if uh, we needed something handy right off the bat. Yeah, so this whole, can I see the little one? This little backpack, we kept all of the things that we needed to grab, have access to really fast. Something we packed, this is the funniest part of our entire backpack, if you ask me. The, really? <laughs> yes. The amount of baby butt wipes we packed. That was the heaviest thing in our pack, actually. This, 100%, because we probably, how many do you think we bought? Like Six? No, six. More than that? We had about nine of these, and then we also had about six of the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. They're, little, they're towelettes, very similar to these. Um, but when you are just running around and getting filthy, you need something to keep you clean and this was like our shower when we didn't have one so we were constantly keeping clean with the butt wipes and I think there were a couple times when you were driving that I would be like from behind like wiping the dirt off of you yeah <laughs> but yeah so this was the heaviest oh I wanted to grab my dad's photo and this is before I forget the most important thing I packed, I kept this in my Amazing Race fanny the entire time. It is a picture of me and my dad when I was little. Um, my dad passed away a few years ago and I thought it would be really cool to take him around the world with me. So I put him right in this little plastic bag with all of the really important paperwork that we couldn't lose or we would be kicked out of the race. It's Cody's international driving permit all of our vaccinations and uh, our passports as well. So dad went right in there, so that was really cool. As far as what I packed for makeup and maintenance. Oh, uh, <laughs> straightener. Stra my straightener was my big item. So Cody packed excessive amounts of underwear and socks. My straightener was my biggest item. As far as makeup goes, the only makeup that I brought with me on the trip was a liquid foundation, um, a setting powder, and an eyebrow pencil. That was it. I had eyelash extensions on during the race, so I didn't have mascara. Uh, I didn't need to worry about mascara. Um, as long as like, and I honestly didn't bother putting on makeup for a lot of the time we were racing because 
we were getting so filthy that it was a mute point. I would just throw my hair in a ponytail and stick a hat on. Because when you're racing for a million dollars, I'm more worried about getting to that million dollar prize than I am about how I look. People have seen me enough times in the house, they know what I look like without makeup. So looking pretty for the race was not like a priority. You still looked pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Do you think I was high maintenance on the race? No, no. Um, that was the most shocking part about it all, but it was the fact that Jessica wasn't high maintenance at all. <laughs> <laughs> these are Cody's race shoes um they're really gross yeah I mean they're really dirty they, uh, but yeah I don't have my shoes from the race anymore so I really don't have anything from the race anymore it's kind of sad I think my hat I had a I had gotten a camo hat to match Cody's from a fan, and I still have that, and I think that's the only thing I still have from the race, so. This whole video is probably just me crunching on popcorn. Probably. It's fine. <laughs> All right, so that's our pre-Amazing Race premiere video. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see more videos of us, hit subscribe to our channel. Wait, he said.